Okay, so it's been about six weeks since the release and implementation of the BattleEye anti-cheat software on the PC version of Grand Theft Auto V Online. And although its initial release and implementation was rocky at best, and at worst, it was a lot like stubbing your toe in the middle of the night against the bedpost until finding the light switch, as of today at least, the gameplay experience on the PC version of Grand Theft Auto Online is remarkably better, and we'll discuss that here in the video. So what's up everybody? Odd Man 105, aka the Odd One here, back with a short talking head video on the current state of play in Grand Theft Auto Online on the PC version of the game. Now, I've asked many of you out there in my community who play Grand Theft Auto Online on the PC to describe your experiences in the game while playing GTA Online on the PC in either private sessions or public sessions and state whether or not you've seen either an increase or reduction in the number of cheaters or script kiddies using cheat menus in these sessions. And surprisingly, many of you have said yes, there's been a significant reduction in the number of cheaters playing Grand Theft Auto Online on the PC. But first of all, what defines a cheater in the context of a multiplayer live service game like Grand Theft Auto Online? Well, first of all, we have to remember that Grand Theft Auto Online uses a peer-to-peer -peer network infrastructure for multiplayer matchmaking. Now, Rockstar's game servers do not host any of the sessions, they only facilitate matchmaking. The individual player is either the host or the client in another player's session. Now, peer-to-peer -peer networks are inherently less secure and far more prone to security exploitation than, let's say, dedicated game servers are. And this is where all of the cheating and modding and hacking takes place because remember, you're a peer on Rockstar's network and you're sharing file locations with other players on that network. Now, with all of that stuff being said, and in the context of a multiplayer live service game like Grand Theft Auto V Online, a cheater is someone who uses an unauthorized third-party app or a fast run, duped, or modded account, as is the case on console, to gain some sort of an unfair play advantage, not only over other players, but to circumvent the existing game code to gain that unfair play advantage. Now, this can include, but is not limited to, stealing a player's public IP address, which can then be used in a DDoS attack, thereby temporarily disabling a player's internet access, stealing a player's Rockstar ID or Social Club ID, and enacting remote code exploits, such as remote crash and kick from session. Now, in response to this decades-long siege of the PC version of GTA 5 Online by these cheaters and these script kiddies with their cheat menus, Rockstar finally implemented the BattleEye anti-cheat software about six weeks ago. And although its release was rocky at best, like I mentioned earlier, but it was a bit of a train wreck, the current experience on the PC version of the game is remarkably better. And I'll discuss some of my continuing concerns with the use of BattleEye here in the video. Now, many of you in my community who play this game on PC have specifically stated that they've seen a significant reduction in the number of cheaters in both public sessions and private sessions, and that they've seen almost zero instances of any sort of remote crashing kick from session. Now, this reduction in cheating is not only a result of BattleEye, but it's also due to the fact that Rockstar is aggressively banning cheaters across all platforms as we speak. And the account bans aren't finished. We will more than likely see additional account bans and maybe even some PC hardware bans before the release of the upcoming winter DLC. And this is simply Rockstar's way of stating that if you insist on using third-party cheat software while playing Grand Theft Auto Online, then through attrition, you will get banned. And as recently as October 15th, Rockstar released an update for the PC version of GTA Online that specifically enhances security, so much to the point where any cheater out there using a mod menu can't even access GTA Online, but instead will receive an error message when trying to log in. Now, my conspiracy theory as to why Rockstar is being so aggressive with cleaning up the PC version of Grand Theft Auto Online has to do with the possible release of Expanded and Enhanced on the PC and the release of the Winter DLC this year. And you know Rockstar wants to ensure that there are no cheaters out there who could adversely affect their bottom line in terms of microtransactions, shark card sales, and GTA Plus memberships. 
But as previously mentioned, BattleEye's implementation did manage to break a couple of things in GTA Online. First and foremost, BattleEye is not compatible with the Linux operating system, so anyone out there running a Linux-based PC or the Steam Deck can no longer play Grand Theft Auto V Online. Now, Rockstar is supposedly working with Steam to address that problem, at least for the Steam Deck, but until then, these players are still unable to play a game that they paid for. Second, I've seen a significant reduction in performance in my PC version of Grand Theft Auto Online since installing BattleEye, to the point where I can't capture video and play the game at the same time because my FPS, my frames per second, will dip so low that it becomes a stuttery, laggy mess. So Rockstar still has some work to do in terms of optimization and addressing these performance issues, but I still believe that the use of BattleEye anti-cheat software is a step in the right direction. But those are just my thoughts, and I want to hear from you guys, so sound off down in the comments below and let's have a respectful discussion about this. If you're playing this game on PC, tell us what your experiences have been like in private sessions and public sessions, and whether or not you've seen an improvement, and let's discuss it in the comments. But, with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, and if you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, Leave a few likes while you're here, and hey, don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105, and I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.